All right. I am going to talk about my LSD trips. Specifically, my last one. I've had three in the past six, six months, probably about two months apart each. And they have been life changing. And I wanted to make a video about number one and number two, my first two or not my first LSD trips ever, but my first two LSD trips with like intention, dark room, headphones, alone, just in uh, in my bed or in a bed. And the reason why I didn't make a video about the first two is because I was trying to understand it. I felt like if I couldn't, concisely speak my experience, then it's going to be, why would I post it anywhere? It wouldn't be helpful to anyone. Because every time I try to explain it to a friend or someone who asked about it, I, I would start trying to explain it. And then I'd just be like, I'm terrible at explaining this stuff. Like I just couldn't put language to it. And I don't think I'm any better at putting language to it now, but I do wish I still created a video the day, the day after, or a couple of days after my first and second experience, just to look back on and see the main points, even if it makes no sense to anyone else, this might, this role probably make no sense to you. You might, you probably won't walk away or click away from this video feeling any more enlightened because yeah, it's still, it's hard to put language to. But I'm still going to do my best. Um, let's see what comes out. So yeah. Um, I'll, first, I'll first just share why I feel like it's been life changing for me. And the main, the main thing, if I could say there's a main thing, it's that I understand completely how everyone is connected. Like that's the most basic shit. And I've heard that before and there was some intuitive knowing of like, yeah, I think that's true. But with my trip, it became so fucking simple and so clear that we are all just experiencing Okay. We are all experiencing experiencing self oh there's still that out there for now from an infinite amount of angles and the very specific angle that I'm living through I see it as chase the very specific route that I took in the infinite possibilities and it, this is kind of key to you about my last trip. It's like, and I can't explain this, but I just feel like I know this, that all actions, all possibilities have already been taken. The, 
But Chase is just an awareness that is highlighting, that is that is fo- that is fo- that is focusing on one specific route in the infinite in the infinite possibilities. I'm not actually doing anything. My awareness is just giving light to one specific path. And I know that might be stupid to like say to like it just may it may just make sense to me cuz I experienced it and it probably does. But I just see this visual of like a branch of branch of branches all interconnected and an infinite amount of them that expand forever and chase me i just took a very specific route but all of them were all of them were possible to me and all of them did happen they all happened just not in this reality me speaking right now that's like the trip that was huge on my first trip or my second trip was like all possibilities they are happening there's a there there's an there's an alt there's an alt there's an alternate reality where i just have this hand up instead of both like all possibilities are happening did happen but my awareness is just highlighting one specific route and that's what makes up this very unique branching that I call chase. Something yesterday that was profound to me in my trip was just the visual of waves and the and the and the ripples of and the ripples of waves how they're always I wouldn't even say trying, but they're always like the the nature of a wave is creating heart is creating harm is creating harmony. Like when two waves when two when two waves collide, it creates it creates chaos. It creates dis it creates disharmony. But we don't see it as dis we don't see it as disharmony we just see two waves we just see two waves crashing but then they fall and then they they're like they melt together they create a heart they create a harmonious oneness and i don't think we're any different I saw myself the chase that is this very specific route that my uh that my awareness hot hi- my awareness highlighted I think we're always trying not even trying just like a wave isn't trying to create harm isn't trying to create harmony it's just in our na- it's just in our nature to create to to create harmony 
but like as a wave as 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 a, as a wave crashes into uh into a into another wave this wave doesn't get it doesn't get upset it doesn't say i'm i'm dis i'm dis i'm disharmonious now no it just becomes a wave but because we have it becomes one with the crash but because we have emotions and thoughts and pre and pre and preferences and de and desires and likes and dislikes to extend that that met that metaphor a wave into us is like we're constantly sending out a vibe we're constantly sending out a vibration a very specific unique vibration I, I'm constantly sending out a very specific, unique vibration with the chase with 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 the chase signature. It's like mine. It's a little. It's it's a. It's a little crooked. It's dishar. It's disharmonious. Like not it's, it's not disharmonious. It's it's not the perfect. It's not the perfect wave. It's not. It's very unique to me. And when thought comes into my brain, that carries a specific. A, a, a specific vibe, a specific specific vibration that is either harmonious or not to my already my already um, vi my already vibration if that makes sense. You just the thought gets in and it starts expanding in this vibration like a, like a like like. Uh, like a wave but if my wave of chase is here and then the new thought comes in and it's not a match this creates this this creates disharmony this creates disharmony of emotions of vibration of whatever but Unlike a wave that just doesn't view it as disharmony, it's just like it just is, and then it creates oneness. This emotion, this disharmony, it creates it creates it creates separateness because we have emotions and 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 an ego. It creates separateness. Um, And what was another profound thing connected to this that happened yesterday was it feels like since everything in this planet has this desire to become whole has this not even a desire it's just the the not the natural the natural order is just to sink in and become one it it was very clear to me yesterday that that is what our goal is with this very unique specific vibration that has been formed from our from our dis from our dysfunctions that's been formed from our trauma that's been formed from our traumas has been formed from the people we've come in contact with our in our environment is very specific like 
thing that we send out into the world constantly, it's constantly running into thoughts and emotions that disrupt it and create a disheart and create disheart and create disharmony. But it's also running into other people's also running into other people's vibration and very you and very unique very unique signature signature that there's that they're sending out constantly and when they collide it creates this it creates disharmony and this is it if it it seems like what's clear to me is it is our goal here to learn the lessons that 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 disheart that that disharmony that unique dis that unique disharmony learn the lesson of how to cultivate that into heart in into harmony it's a very specific lesson with a very specific like since we're all unique in our expression and so is everyone else what we experience is so uniquely um so unique to us but the lesson is all the same the lesson is like like again when a wave crashes into another wave it's not thinking like what lesson should i learn about how to sink in but to 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 sink in and become one harmonious with the with you with the with the other wave but it seems like we have we have con we have con we have consciousness so when that wave happens that that crash happens to us we get upset we get disharmonious and because we have con- because we have consciousness we have the ability to learn what was that lesson like why was it disharmonious why what was i what what was i carrying what was i um yeah and it seems like life pre life presents us with um very very specific waves very specific very specific ripples that hit our waves and our job is to learn that lesson and it seems like um like what i'm saying right now i've heard before war i've heard before worded more more el- more el- more el- more eloquently and i could word it more eloquently but it wouldn't be real like this is what i saw the the vi- the visual of waves this constant sending out this constant sending out and another thought i don't know how deep this is but i thought of the word kink in my trip I just never thought about kink in this way of like kink is like if you think of a hose if I were to grab this side of the hose and this side of the hose and join them it creates a kink in the it creates a kink in the middle so when I think about kink in terms of like like set like sex like like sexual kink it's when two ends of the two ends of the polarity meet that is kink like dom sub oh yeah one thing that it's hard for me to explain but it's like everything changes in a wave 
everything follows a wave. And what I mean is like, also like a, like a spec, like a spec, like a spectrum. Um, like a, when you look at, when you look at a wave, there, it's, it goes, it goes, it goes, gra it goes gradually up and then it falls, gr then it falls gradually down. And so, yeah, there's a peak to the wave, there's a bottom of the wave, and then there's the in between the, the gra, the gra, the gradual. And I see how everything is like that. Everything that can change does so gradually or like if like if I hate to do this but like if a left winger because I don't follow I don't follow, I don't follow politics at all if a left winger and a right winger meet that 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 creates con that creates conflict if they just both are on the far end of this at the both on the far end of the spectrum that creates conflict but if on the gradual on the spectrum um, But because there's a spectrum from like the far end and the far, far end of the left, far end of the right, in everything in life, masculine and fe masculine and feminine, dark and light, left, right, um, night and day, there's a spectrum. Like that. I don't know how to word that. I, I guess what I was saying was like everything changes in a wave. So like if you want that right winger to change into left wing, you wouldn't meet them with a you wouldn't meet them with the you wouldn't meet them with the left wing. The far and left wing far and left wing person because that creates that creates that creates conflict you would meet them with the person just just on un, just under or just a little little bit more left wing than the, the than the far and right wing and then if they are surrounded or around people who are a little less extreme and then they move on to the next little less extreme. Then they move on to the next little less extreme. Move on to the next little less extreme. Move on to the next little less extreme. Seems like that's how change. That's that's how change. Ha that's how change happens. And I'm not saying I'm left wing or right wing. I don't follow that shit at all. Um. And that was just so clear to me that like you take two ends of the spectrum, put them to put them to put them together, kink, con con conflict, um, but not always like sexual kink. It's in it's in it's enjoyable if both par if both parties are into it. But maybe that's it. Maybe. It's because it arises so much 
emotion like if a left winger and right winger join it's like conflict there's so much emotion there's so much <sighs> um yeah but like sexually dom sub they meet it's charged it's supercharged i think that's the word that i'm look that's the word i'm looking for but yeah and like I know these concepts, <laughs> they're very they're very basic, but I think that's why they're so profound. Is it because I'm under I understand them on like I at least I'm trying to understand them on like a fucking basic knowing level. That if like two vibrations that are that are dip that that are different vib different vibrations, if they go here, blah 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 blah. And then they meet. Huge conflict will uh, will uh, will arise, but as they continue to go across each other, they'll learn to sync up. They'll learn to sync up. But if they're, it's constantly sending this vi constantly sending this vib vibration from two points, then constantly there's going to be conflict at the point of of the point of meeting, and then. A little less conflict as it continues. A little less conflict. A little less conflict, and then they'll learn to sync, learn to learn to synchronize, learn to learn to harmonize, harmonize, whatever. And the reason why that was so profound to me, it's like the the vi the visual of that is like in this world. If you look at that, you'll just see okay, like that's like two waves or two if you look at two if you look at two ripples like two ripples they hit it's like a it's like a wave a little like clash but as they continue they disperse but if two streams keep on sending this it's going to keep on crashing in the in the middle that's a wave but if you look at it from a hum, from from a from a human side like that's war or that's that's con that's con that's conflict that's disheart that's disheart that's dis that's disharmony that's fight that's fight that's fighting that's conflict right and it just made so much sense to me of like oh like everything is everything follows the same law the same law like waves do that but because waves don't have feelings it just continues but we we do that boom that's conflict that's fighting and as you continue to like go with the out uh, if you continue to go with the other side and understand it you will learn to you'll learn to heart you'll learn to harmonize with it and create something new that is in that is in heart that is in heart that is in heart that, that is in harmony eventually yeah okay um And yeah, just to reiterate one more thing is like, it made so much sense to me that we're all, we all come from the same place. Our, 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 our consciousness is we're all the same, but we are born into a very unique um, a very unique ex a very unique expression a very unique a very unique sig very unique signature that we're constantly sending out and as we grow up we either create more dysfunction in our in our in our, in our, in our signature um, 
more disheart more disheart more disharmony or we create less of it and it seems like the the ways that we are dis disharmon the ways we are disharmonious life will give us will give us something to crash into that part of us that is disheart that is disharmonious in order to like fucking shake it up and learn and learn the and learn and learn the lesson that we need to learn in order to make it har- in order to make it harmonious again or for once and it seems like that's our mission in this lifetime because everything is becoming harmonious in this world they're not trying like a wave isn't trying to it just does it the flow of life it just does it it's it's not it's it's not it's it's natural law and i don't think we're any different than that and i think that i think the word car i th- i think the word karma is simply just like if you create disheart if you create disheart if you create disharmony within a within an within another person intentionally um or you came in this lifetime to learn a to learn a lot to learn a lesson because you have this because you have this dysfunction or this mal or this maladaptive be this mal maladaptive behavior if you create dis if you create disharmony it fucks up your it fucks up your it fucks up your it fucks up your signature even more from it goes even more dis even more disharmonious to the flow of life to love it's more disharmonious to love and compassion and that seems like what car- that seems like what what karma is is like you now have to live with a even more disharmonious self that means in order to learn that le- in order to learn that lesson that you came into this life to learn it's now going to hurt more to learn that to learn that to to learn that lesson because you're going to have to face more pain more dis more disharm more disharmony um more dis more disharmony in order to like like bring that shit back into love because you because you acted in a way that was disharmonious stre- strength strengthening that kink or not kink's the wrong word strengthening that disharmonious a disharmonious signature that you're constantly sending out yeah karma just seems like it's not this thing that you just have to like that you have to be- that you have to believe in and take a leap of faith in and hope or don't hope but it seems like it just it makes sense like if you yeah i won't explain the exact same thing i just said again and that's the main point <laughs> god i will get better at this this is pretty new to me 6 months into like some very deep shit that's going to take a lifetime to or more than a lifetime to get probably but I thought I'd just share it anyway put it out there so if I die but like, hey I gave my my truth of what's going on in my brain
É isso.